Connor and I are both big music fans. Uh, Connor in particular, big fan of the rapid, rippity, rapity, rapity T. Yeah. Music. The the rapity raps. The, the ribbity raps. So a lot of rabbits. This is going to be a uh, POTUS Chats debut. A POTUS Chats, uh, an, an original artist debut here. For the first time, we're gonna we're gonna show you uh, Bugsy the this? Don. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Twitch. Bugsy the Don. Let's check this out. You guys like this? I mean, it's heavily auto tuned. We're using basic trap beats. Uh, a very normal like rap pattern. Nothing, you know, exciting, but really normal. And you can like listen to it in the background. Yeah, and he's he's looking good. I like his outfit. He he looks it's chill, a great picture. handsome guy. Uh, I like the tattoos on the hands. The whole thing it looks cool. And gee, that's a cool album cover too, eh? Uh huh. Yeah, eh? You got anything? You what? Do you, you see anything interesting in this uh, album cover here? That... There's a lot of stuff going on behind him. Yeah, what's going on back behind him? Oh, uh... It looks like a, some a few people were interested in the Capitol building that day. Is that the Capitol building? Is that the United States Capitol? Could be. Looks looks similar. Uh, his his album's called The Capitol, but it's misspelled as C A P I T A L. Although it, yeah, it could out. be, it could be a play on words, but I I, I don't know. It yeah, just it looks is. like a misspelling to me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, does it look like there's Trump flags back? Could this be uh, January sixth? I think it was twenty one. Oh, so we have uh, a album cover that's being photographed here in front of the Capitol. Uh, wow. It says it also says Bugazi on it, which I think it says might. Bugsy. Oh no, there's no A. Never mind. It I was hoping Bugazi. that was like, it's not that would be so cool. Never mind. Just forget I said yeah. anything. So it looks like we have uh, an influencer. I guess yeah. is, was my take. That my interpretation of this was that this guy's an influencer who decided to go down to the Capitol during the riots and take some photos and then made it his album cover. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I there's a, it's an interesting, you know, there's a lot going on that day. Um, and it was, an, it's definitely an interesting photograph, which is probably why they chose sure. it. Cause it's striking. There's a lot of stuff going on behind him. There's a lot of movement, which is what you right. like to see in art. But, uh, here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he might be getting in trouble about it. <laughs> yep. Uh, a rapper were, posed on a SWAT truck during the Capitol riot and put it on his album. Now he's facing federal charges. Oh, you got to feel bad for this one. I mean, with a cigar in his right hand and an American flag draped by his side, Antoine Deshaun Brodick Brodnax Brodnix sat on a U.S. Capitol Police SWAT truck as hordes of President Donald Trump supporters climbed the Capitol steps, storming the building behind him. Start from, from, from there, Brodnax. Brodnax, ra who's, who raps under the name Bugsy, that's, that's where that comes from, the Don, admitted to investigators in the weeks following the insurrection that he went inside the Capitol uh, on January 6th, but claimed that he was already in Washington to shoot a music video and entered the building simply because he wanted to take photos and videos according to the court documents. I mean, come on. If you're yeah. shit, I mean, if there's a shitty riot going on that is, is a, fail, uh, a failing insurrection and the Capitol doors are open and you're filming a music video... I mean, look, I know a rapper who, who went on a trip to North Korea and low key shot a music video in North Korea. So, also, I mean, there was a rapper who kind of cool. Someone shot a music video at some at where you work. Which was pretty crazy. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That happens sometimes. So, uh, but federal investigators have a different interpretation of his appearance at the Capitol. They arrested him on March 11th, days after he released the album. Now, any rapper knows 
<laughs> that getting arrested days after you release your album is always uh, good. That's yeah, always going to help. I mean, you immediately, rapper who just released X album on X day is now in jail, and you're like, oh, what he do? So he's getting, he's arrested for uh, disorderly conduct. For taking um, that picture? Come on. It's a good and, picture. Yeah, they want access, the, the, the government wants access to his social media accounts. Um, Ridiculous. So, so he, yeah, he went into the Capitol. Uh, it's not clear what his stance on Donald Trump and all, all of that, or if he was trying to <laughs> insurrectify the United States government. Uh -huh. uh, but I mean, it just sounds like he knew there was going to be something big happening. He yeah. had the temerity to show up. He took the photos and he made a bomb ass. Yeah. Yeah. The, the <laughs> that, uh, Yeah. Photo. I could easily represent him. Like, look, this is this is pure art. This is a good picture. And he was just a, a victim of opportunity. You know, how could you blame him? No one was getting arrested around him. Now, yeah, I know we're supposed to I know we're supposed to show all sides or both sides of every issue here. I'm on this guy's side. I think we both agree that yeah, it's fine. Let him It's go. a good album cover. It's <laughs> it's exciting. It's really cool. It, he took a picture of history and then he was like, "Yo, I was there." Like, come on. Come on. I mean, what well, okay, here's my question. Uh-huh. You and I happen yeah. to ha let's say you and I happen to be in Washington on that day, right? Okay. We were talking about going down there to watch the certification. Yes, we were. We we were talking about that for a few months beforehand. So if we were down there mm -hmm. and we we were outside the Capitol and there were all the people rioting and we had our camera or we had our phones and we wanted to go on Twitch and like Twitch stream the riot. Okay. Would we have gone in? Yeah, definitely. You like know. definitely definitely okay so there you have it come and get us fbi i was i was on my <laughs> couch i was eating cheese it's i was stress eating because i had had a conversation the night before with my mom going like hey if anything goes down why don't we make a plan to make a plan something seems weird in the air right now in washington dc something yeah. seems wrong and then uh and then that happened so i got my stress food which was goldfish and cheese it's and I watched Toast of London with my roommates while simultaneously watching uh, the insurrection. The whole day. Well, that's a good way to go. I happened to be in Florida that day, unfortunately, but I, I would have at least gone down to watch because, I mean, that's history. But and we love yeah. to see history, uh, especially live history. Uh, but it would have been scary uh, and I would not have been together with the people chanting and whatever like i would not i was not for that group but it would have been they would let us see. do you think they would let us claim press if we were just like showing it on our phones just like, have our, <laughs> this is my phone just make a fake press pass yeah 